We're now joined by 157 pound national champion Jason Nolp of Penn State. We'll take an opening statement from Jason and then questions, please. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited, as you can tell by my face. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm, I'm more of a uh, mellow, stoic kind of guy. But I was really excited uh, scoring a lot of points out there. I still think I could have scored more, but that'll just keep me ready for next year. And um, I'm really looking forward to watching my other teammates. Russell Zane did a great job, and hopefully we can keep getting more bonus points. Jason, uh, you, you're very much so, uh, personality-wise, it seems like Coach Sanders, Coach, Coach Kale Sanderson. Um, you guys got the same kind of personality. Um, you're stoic guys, uh, dry sense of humor, but you're fun to watch. You wrestle like him. You make up moves. You got such a crazy high pace. How do you do it, man? Uh, I think it's just having fun out there and just trying to create opening, openings to score. doesn't matter how you get on top of them, you just got to figure out a way. So I play wrestle a lot in practice, and I think that's what it comes from, and just wanting it. Jason, you and Zane all year have kind of been, played a bit of a game of one-upsmanship with, with bonus points and, and different things playing back-to-back. -back. How much uh, does it really drive you and motivate you to push for even more when you see him putting up big scores and, and big team points? Yeah, I wanted to get the pin there in the finals. It was kind of hard to open up. Uh, I didn't really get a pinning combination up except for the one take. I didn't even get the takedown either, but I kind of had, it was in third period, I think, and I had him on his back a little bit, but he fought off and the ref didn't really know what was going on. So, um, yeah, I, I wanna, I'm looking to get a pin out there every time, no matter what. And I'm kind of upset a little bit when I don't. So even though I just won a national title, I'm still looking to improve, but I'm really grateful for all of this. Uh, Jason, you guys must go some matches in practice. I mean, is it more difficult to beat your teammates who are you know, all around the same size or, or the opponents uh, even here in the NCAA Finals? Uh, yeah, I mean, our guys are pretty good, as you can see. We got five guys in the finals back to back to back to back to back. So those guys are definitely some of the toughest guys I wrestle with. And we get to learn each other's uh, like the way we wrestle, so we, we're continuously evolving because we're competitive and we want to keep getting better and better and we all just help each other do that. Jason, we saw you give uh, Cody a hug right after, in the tunnel here. I think maybe a couple other coaches as well. Can you talk about the importance of Cody and Casey to the team and Cal credits the staff quite a bit. Can you, what do they bring that maybe we don't see all the time? Uh, those guys, uh, they just do more individualized workouts. Cal kind of talks to the team as a whole and kind of tries to help out everybody. And, Kale and Casey, or Cody and Casey are more like individualized guys, so they, they're the one that kind of tells us what we should be eating and what we should be doing, what time we should start warming up. And so, I mean, all, like, a lot of the credit goes to those, those guys because they take a lot of time. They look back past years, what they've done, and they just uh, they, they know what they're doing. So uh, I love my coaches, and I'm excited for another few years with them. Jason, after last season, uh, getting to the finals and, and not getting it, yeah, how, a video right there, yeah. <laughs> how much of a motivation was that? And does that still motivate you? Uh, yeah, um, it, it was super heartbreaking last year. That was my goal to be a, it was my goal to be a four-time national champ. And that's, I obviously stopped that. So, um, uh, Martinez is a great competitor and, uh, I have a lot of respect for the way he wrestles and I just, I didn't score more points than him that day, so I just continuously look, score more points, and create opportunities. Like I, like I keep saying, but that's what it's about. You can't leave. You, you can't have a close. You can have a close match, but you, you don't want to if you, if you can help. I could have ridden that guy out a little bit longer and try to work on top a little bit and won the match five three. But that's not what I want to do. I don't want to leave it up to a last second takedown, kind of like it was last year. Even though yeah, I guess we were tied last year took me down with like 30 seconds left so I don't want to leave it up to that I want to just I want to be able to get taken down at the end of the match and still be up by 15 13 points I guess that wouldn't really work out but 12 points so um, although I don't want to ever get taken down but uh, it doesn't matter to me if I do I just kind of keep scoring and scoring and scoring and keep the pace high Jason, can you talk about this group of five or wherever this is? Would you call yourself for like a fraternity? Do you like today during the, uh, the All-American round, a lot of you were here. 
what, why is it? Is it just a tradition? And also, I need to ask you more about this personality, this stoic type of thing. Have you always been like this? Uh, yeah. I used to really, like, when I would get interviewed, I would just say yes or no the whole time. And <laughs> the guys were like, come on, give us some answers. But, uh -huh. um, yeah, I kind of guess I've always been that way. I've, I've opened up a lot more. And, um, yeah, I mean, our team's really good. I'm just going to keep saying that. But uh, we got a lot of really good guys on our team. And even guys that aren't even starting or guys like Jimmy Golubani, I still think he's the best 141 pounder in the country, even though he didn't compete to the. I thought he wrestled really well, though. And then guys like Nick Soriano, who weren't even in the lineup. And I mean, we just had a, we have a really good training program, and uh, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Final question for Jason. Jason, uh, there's so many just freaks in your room. David Taylor, uh, you know, obviously Coach Sanderson, both of them, and. Uh, Coach Cunningham, I hear myth and folklore of him. It's just the guy has got a motor. He trains. Is that who you train with the most? Who's your main workout partner? You know, what are the goes like with Zane? Who's your main two, three guys that you're banging with every day and you're you're scrapping it out with? Is Coach Cunningham one of them? He's not really one of them. Uh, he's usually going with the bigger guys like Mark or Bo. They ask him like three weeks ahead of time sometimes. No, but uh, I just I, anytime I ask Coach Casey to go, he's like, yeah, I got Bo, I got Mark or. I got Neville's, and uh, I, I work out with Coach Cody a lot just because um, he, he's a guy that knows what he's talking about, and he kind of knows how to wrestle kind of like these other guys do, and uh, it's just a great experience, and I obviously wrestle with Zane a lot. We, uh, we go hard, so it's a lot of fun. That's all from Jason Nolte tonight. Thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, Jason. Thank you.